Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you yet again with another weekly video and per usual I've got some stuff to show you. Yeah, I'm wearing pajama pants. It's night, it's Friday night and I'm not doing anything. Um, you'll see this Saturday night of course. Uh, but yeah, got the local meet tomorrow so that should be pretty cool, we'll see. Um, hopefully I'll be able to scoop some cool deals or something. We'll see what we got going on there and uh, hopefully it'll be a good time. Um, I think I got a pretty interesting episode for you guys today. Um, I don't think I've shown this or not. I got this off a of Facebook seller and I've actually had it for quite a while. But it's this Jaguar Hot Wheels 100% set. And uh, I thought it'd be kind of interesting to pick it up. Um, I got this actually really cheap. And it's got the rubber bands of death on here where, you know, we don't know if we've got some paint damage or not. Some of the uh, rubber bands are rotted away. Some of them remain. We'll just have to open it up and find out. So we will do that on the, in the second segment. This is Manufacturer Series 2 Hot Wheels uh, Collectibles Multi-Piece Vehicle from First Run Tool. So this is like the Hot Wheels 100% line, basically. Um, it looks like it's never been opened. Well, maybe it has been opened, actually. Oh, no, it hasn't. Those stickers are still intact. Well, of course, someone could probably take the stickers off and put it back on, but I'm guessing nobody ever opened it because the rubber bands are in pretty rough shape and they're still on the cars. So we will check that out. And another oddball multi-pack that we're going to check out is this guy right here. Uh, this is a Malibu International Limited model collection it is five cars in here malibu international uh as you may or may not know Greenlight used some of these toolings in their motor world lineup um and actually used i think three of these maybe four of these actually in their motor world motor world lineup at some point um, this i got off of ebay uh this is one of those low ball bids didn't think i was going to win and won it Packaging is absolutely destroyed, but we will get into it and we will take a look at the cars inside. So that's 10 cars already we're going to look at. Um, speaking of 10 cars, yeah, I've kind of gotten away from the 10 Car Tuesday episodes. And the reason why I've done that, just in case you were wondering, is because, well, one, I'm running low on 10 Car Tuesday content. Usually we open up 10 cars or like 10 mainliners cars. I'm kind of running low on that type of content. Um, it's not going away, however. Um, it will just not be every single Tuesday. Um, when I feel the need to do a 10 Guard Tuesday episode, I'll do one. Or when I've got, you know, I guess material for it, I'll do one. But it's not going to be an every week thing like it's been for the past couple of years. Um, the other reason why it's difficult to do right now is because this room is still not finished. I've got I've got more behind me now than you saw in the last week's episode. I still have another wall to paint. I still got more cases to put up. It's still a work in progress. So there's still cars of mine that are just everywhere. So it's hard to stay organized right now. And that's why you're not seeing those episodes. All right. That's that. All right, another eBay find. Again, this was another one. I put a lower bid on this one, and I was surprised to actually get it. Uh, this will be a Free the Peace Friday episode, which will be the Stealth. Now, I apologize as well because I didn't do a Free the Peace Friday today because I just simply ran out of time. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I didn't have time to do it. I didn't do it. I did, I did put a lot of videos out this week, though, so check them out if you haven't already. We unboxed a GameStop case. We unboxed a Greenlight case. And um, what was the other one we did? Wasn't there one more? Oh, an M2. We did an M2 case on the channel this week. So still enough content. Um, I just didn't do like the regular videos. So no Free the Peace Friday. And again, Free the Peace Friday, maybe another one that I don't do every single week. I'm going to try to diversify just a little bit. We're always going to have this Diecast Weekly episode, I decided. And that's because I like to log every single thing that uh, came into my collection. And it's kind of cool to do it in video format. So I will continue to do that, but we will also be featuring, you know, certain things. We'll do certain videos uh, differently. Um, 10 Car Tuesday, still going to do it, just not going to be every single week. Same with Free the Peace Friday. It may not be every single week. I'm going to try to do them all, you know, every week, every week that I can. Uh, but there may be times that I won't be able to do it. All right. 
other than that, not much else is changing. We're business as usual. All right. This other one was from the same Facebook seller as I got that Jaguar set from. This was Modified Les Legends uh, Jackie Evans, car number 77. This is weird. This is a Ertl collectible. There's only 500 of these produced. Um, so this is an interesting car. We're going to go ahead and open up that in the uh, second segment of the video. So stay tuned for that. That's a weird one. All right, another weird one is this Johnny Lightning Galactic Cruiser. Somebody tell me what movie this is from. Is this like a Blade Runner thing? Uh, what is the deal with that? Hmm? I don't know either. So we're going to go ahead and open it up and take a peek at it. But I thought it was an interesting Johnny Lightning tooling to say the least, so I thought I'd add it to my Johnny Lightning collection. All right, and then I also got Auto World. Finally got this Miho exclusive. I ended up just scooping one off of eBay. Uh, still don't have the Ultra Red for this one. I've got the Sunoco uh, one that came out at the same time, and I've got the Ultra Red for that. I've done a Free the Peace Friday episode on it. I don't have the Ultra Red for this one yet, so I'm still looking out for that. I will need to get it eventually. So hopefully I'll be able to get it. Uh, you should be able to get the Ultra Red of this one. They're not going to be quite as crazy as some of the other hobbies, hobby exclusives, mainly because they made 4,800 of this truck. So they're not quite as rare, uh, but definitely pretty darn cool. All right, so there's that. Um, I got this. It was another eBay, another low bid. It's Atomica Limited Vintage. We'll take a closer look up at it in the next segment. Did not come with a TLV box, which was kind of disappointing. It didn't say it was going to in the listing, so I wasn't really upset. This came from a, oh shoot, I just dropped the cat. This came from a US seller, and I think I paid like 12 or 13 bucks for it, which is a good deal on this truck. Um, so pretty darn cool. The copyright date on this casting is 2005. It's an older one. I think this is one of the first releases of it. This is the Datsun 1200. Uh, anyway, we'll take a look at that close up in the uh, next segment. And then lastly, or actually not lastly, I got this. This came from Die Castrum. I think I got it from him. Either him or SC Diecast. This Polizei uh, Volkswagen Golf. We're going to save that for a 10 Car Tuesday episode, which I actually am going to do a 10 Car Tuesday on uh, and it will be a hot pursuit 10 car tuesday i've got almost enough cars to do that with and that will go towards that uh, all right and then lastly i got this thing today actually in the mail this pagani hoira and i don't know the story behind this car i think it might be some sort of dealer not dealer exclusive but some I don't know what actually is going on with it but it's a Pagani Huayra packaging's a little damaged of course not a big deal at all right I'm not a packaging collector um, but it came all the way to me from Macau which is pretty interesting so a gentleman by the name of Pedro um, messaged me and he said that he bought something off of eBay. He won an auction for He was really excited to do it. It was um, some older, I think, Husky castings. Um, I think they were Citroens. Citroens? Citroens? Um, and he said the, the seller refused to ship internationally. After, and I don't know how this all worked out or whatever. But he asked me if I would get it shipped to my address and if I would able to forward it to, forward it to him and in return he would hook me up with something and I said you know what yeah I'll help you out I'm pretty decently versed in international shipping nowadays because I do it semi often for my buddy Dicastrum so it's kind of not a scary thing anymore for me to do uh, so I do it occasionally um, but yeah he sent me a little letter he said dear Dave thank you so much for helping uh, with the husky model that you sent to Macau uh, hope you enjoy this little token of appreciation. I had two in my collection, uh, Pedro. So, pretty cool. Uh, and he sent me this Pagani Huayra, and it looks absolutely amazing. I don't know what brand or who makes it or anything. It's going to be hard for you to see with this camera angle because it's completely blacked out. Uh, but we will 
look at that in their next segment. And it's really detailed. It looks fantastic. All right, so that's it. Let's go ahead and flip the camera around. We're going to look at some of this stuff close up right away. And some of the stuff will be saved for future videos. You'll just have to stay tuned to find out which is which. All right, let's go ahead and do it. All right, so let's start with this uh, Tomica Limited Vintage Datsun truck. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I mean, honestly, I probably wouldn't have went after it if it wasn't so cheap. Um, but, yeah, I decided I had to check it out. And check it out. So, pretty cool. It's got the little removable cap thing. Looks like it's interchangeable. I think it's, yeah, yeah, it's supposed to definitely go this way. So you see the detail there in the back, I would assume. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Of course, it's got suspension. It's metal on metal. A little paint rashing there, just a little bit. Not terrible. And so you, you can see it's an earlier model. It's an LV15, uh, I think is what that says, for the tooling number. Uh, so it's got to be fairly older. And I just think I got a pretty decent deal on this thing. So it was kind of cool to just scoop this up and uh, add it to the collection. Uh, the Tomica Limited Vintage Collection, I mean, I've got quite a few of them now. I've got, I don't know, over 100. So, I mean, that's a pretty decent size uh, Tomica Limited Vintage Collection. I would love them all. They're all fantastic. It's just, uh, you know, obviously, they're, they're really, they are probably one of the most expensive die cast out there. So you can't really go after them all unless you're completely loaded but uh but yeah yeah they're cool and uh i like this truck it's pretty neat all right so let's take a look next at another truck a uh auto world truck and we got this auto world 1973 chevy cheyenne with golf livery it's a mio exclusive one of 48 pieces again i don't have the ultra red complement to this Otherwise, we'd be doing a Free the Peace Friday. But let's go ahead and open up this one. Uh, we do have to cut it open because you can tell I was cutting tape with the scissors because the blades were stuck together. And there it is. Pretty cool. Um, this one's nice. I, I do like it. I get it, the square body, you know, it's been slightly overused. Maybe that slightly is an understatement. Um, I get it. And uh, I also get that uh, golf livery is another one that uh, collectors might be a little bit sick of. And I get it. I totally do. Um, still cool to me. I just, uh, yeah. This one's really cool, though. I, I do like that it's kind of like a, a race-worn version with the livery. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, the wheel choice, I think, is great for this one. That they went with the, the lowered... It's like a lowered stance, but they went with these wheels uh, instead of the normal wheels they go with for lowered stance uh, trucks. And all in all... I think it's pretty awesome. So I'm digging that. Another Auto World square body Chevy added to the collection. And a pretty cool one at that. So, good job, Mio. Uh, I think I like the Sunoco one a little bit better, though. You know, maybe the less popular livery, but uh, I think it's maybe a little bit cooler. But this one's not bad either. What does it say in the plate? Uh, MJ exclusive. But what do you guys think about that one? Did you pick it up? Did you? Would you? Yeah, pretty cool. Alright, Mio does a good job. They do they do some pretty dar darn cool exclusives. I must say though. Alright, let's take a look at this Pagani. This thing is wild. Um, again, I don't know who makes it. The package is ripped. That's okay. I might as well just... I might just toss this cardboard bit. It doesn't have any information on it, so... 
I don't know if this thing is actually licensed. It very well may not be. And uh, if it isn't, I guess it isn't. But like I said, it very well might not be licensed. It, there, there is no information on this box, you know, really whatsoever. But let's take a peek at it. And what do we need? We need a screwdriver. I'm going to take it off the base. So, of course, it comes in a acrylic case. We know that. Um, I can't tell if that's actually metal or... Yeah, it's metal. So it definitely has a metal body. I just touched it to my nose. Let me put some grease on there. A little oily nose print. Let's pull it off the base and check it out. Alright, so the questions we're going to... The normal questions. Uh, does it roll? Actually, yes, it does. It does quite well. Which is not necessarily something you normally see with a display model. Which is what I would consider this. It actually rolls um, pretty darn smooth. It has what appears to be brake discs that you can see through the uh, the rims, which is really cool. It's a cool feature. It's got these little wing mirrors, ooh, which are rubber. So that's like what Mini GT would do to make mirrors that won't break off. These are actually rubberized, which is cool. I did not think they would be. Uh, the interior appears to be very, very detailed. And we have information on the base of the car. What does that say? New York models? NY models? What does that say? Made in China, Pagani Huayra. Number 64002. What is that? I don't want to, like, smash the mirror down to look at it. NY models right was that an n maybe not i don't know uh the base is plastic it is screwed together it, yeah i mean it looks really good lots of nice detail there yeah just silver painted taillights i guess but man i mean it Uh, that is a good looking premium model so I'm happy to add that to my collection again I'd like to know a little bit more about it so uh, I guess if you could uh, Pedro if you could uh, let me know what uh, where this came from I would appreciate it if anybody else knows let me know but it's really cool so yeah that will go on display for sure and that is a really cool piece. So I'm happy to add that. That is fantastic, actually. Really cool. All right. So moving on from it, though, we're going to go to some weird stuff. We got this Modified Legend Jackie Evans, car number 77, issue number 34, Nutmeg Collectibles Incorporated. I don't know anything about this, guys. In limited edition, 5,000 produced. Why did I pick this up from a Facebook seller? Well... Sometimes you pick up stuff just because you're curious, and I was a bit curious. Here we go. 1997, the Ertl Company, Dyersville, Iowa. Nutmeg Collectibles. Don't know who you are. Don't know who you were. Because you're probably not anymore. Maybe you are. I don't know. 5,000 of these produced, so I guess a fairly limited number. I just thought the casting was kind of cool. And I think I got it for like a couple bucks. So, let me go. So, modified coupe. Jackie Evans. I don't know who that is. I don't know much about racing history, so I don't know if he's like major or not. But I just thought this was a cool little die cast model and check it out. It is cool. I think so. Anyway. It has. Yeah, these are rubber. It's got rubber tires. It rolls like a dream. It 
looks like it might be a little bigger than 164 scale. We got a little bit of paint rashing up here, which is normal kind of for old die cast, unfortunately. That's pretty cool. What do you guys think of that? Any of you guys have any of these in your collection? Any of these weird Ertl collectible ones? I think I have like another Ertl collectible in the collection that is like a, uh, what is it? It's some sort of stock car, I think, and it looks kind of cool, like an old vintage stock car. So I guess this kind of falls in the same sort of vein as that. And uh, definitely a neat little add to the collection. Just another odd thing. Again, I like some odd stuff. I like adding some weird stuff to the collection in 164. You know that I think this is probably larger than 164, actually quite a bit larger, maybe, because it's only supposed to be like a, well, probably a single-seater car, but look like a two-seater, and it looks pretty large. But I think it's interesting enough to keep and uh, add to the collection, for sure. All right, and then speaking of interesting stuff, we've got uh, two more, or actually three more things to look at. we got to look at this. So here's another oddity. Galactic Cruiser. Johnny Lightning. From the Tomy era. Johnny Lightning. This is copyright date 2012, I think. And here's this oddball thing. Weird. Uh, doesn't appear that there's any interior in it. There is not. You can actually, if you look right through the window, you can see the base. The base is plastic. The wheels are plastic. The body is a big chunk of metal, and it has some pretty good weight to it. Uh, the paint job is kind of a black to red sort of thing going on with it. What is this from, guys? It's like a Blade Runner car or some, something like that. Whatever it is, it's not licensed to that. Did they name it? Oh, it's Ertl. What? So the plot thickens. Yeah, so here's the thing about Ertl. So some Ertl castings were used by Johnny Lightning. I don't really know how this all happens, okay? I think Tomy bought both Ertl and Johnny Lightning and their tooling catalogs and stuff like that. And I think they kind of interchanged them in different brands and released them or whatever. I don't know. So, yeah, this is definitely originally an Ertl. I think. Anyway, and it could have been in, like, their movie series. I, I, I really don't know. Maybe they did have the license for it at one time uh, for something. What was it named on here? Uh, what did I just do with the packaging? Well, I think I said it in the beginning of the, the last part of the video, so whatever it is. Anyway, it's kind of an interesting thing. It's different. It's it's odd. It's a tooling I didn't have, so I picked it up, and we'll keep it. It's pretty cool. All right. Mm, what should we do next? We still have 10 cars to look at, guys. This is actually going to end up being quite a long one. Um, kind of back to long video days. Let's uh, check out this Malibu International Limited collect model collection uh five pack that i scored off of ebay for cheap um and with good reason because it, it is the packaging is destroyed it's going to go immediately in the garbage now i'm going to pull the cars i haven't checked out any of these i have not pulled these out at all i haven't looked at them I don't know what we're going to get with this. I don't even know how to open the packaging. Um, so, let's see. Looks like you just cut the tape there. Now there's tape all the way around. So, it's getting quite old. Okay, that comes off the back, and this should come off the top. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, that's cool. And the castings are not... Um, screwed down come right off I like that we don't have to deal with the rubber bands we don't have to deal with anything 
That's pretty cool. You get this little like podium thing. I don't think I'll keep the podium thing, but just a little piece of cardboard, but pretty neat. All right, so actually all of these but one, I think, was released as a Motor World casting. So let's check them out. So the first one we get is a Porsche. And I believe this was released one time as a Motor World casting, and that was it. A little Porsche Cayenne Turbo. Uh, it has plastic wheels, plastic base, metal body, um, some painted details all the way around. It's not a bad little die cast model of a Porsche I'm not a huge fan of, but this Malibu die cast brand is kind of like one that, or Malibu International Limited or whatever it is. It's kind of a brand I've been going after almost all the toolings. Uh, that they have and they're not all created equal i've talked about it before some of them have lens details some of them have rubber tires some of them don't uh some of them have just painted details it's kind of all over the board it looks like we're going to get all plastic tires in this pack maybe uh, but here's the porsche first here's secondly is the bus now this one really got released a ton as motor world as a motor world casting for green light and then later it was retooled with a metal base for green light, which is kind of interesting. This I really don't need. I mean, I've got like a hundred different variations of this thing, but only one Malibu one. The other ones I got are green light, so maybe I will hang on to it. Not terribly interesting though to me anymore. I'm kind of over the buses. Uh, this one, Viper. Again, I think this was released as a Motor World green light casting at one point. The Malibu one's basically the same. Painted detail, plastic tires. It's not a bad looking little Viper. So there is that. These all roll, by the way, pretty good. Jaguar, this one was also released. This Jag E type was also released in Motor World. Lineup for uh, green light, plastic tires, plastic base, metal body, painted details. It's a decent little E type Jag. It's a it's a nice it's a decent casting I think. Uh, they got the shape of it. I think right. I think it looks pretty darn good. Uh, this I have this one actually as a green light. I think I have two variations of it as a green light. And I think I actually might have one variation of it as a uh, Malibu International Limited. So there's that. And lastly is this one. I thought this one was going to have rubber tires. So it looks like the only one that had rubber tires was the uh, this, the Boss. Uh, this little Alpha Romeo little convertible here. Again, same basic construction. So it does have plastic tires. It's got a plastic base. Metal body. Painted details. And it looks pretty good. Not a bad looking little car. A little weird, but not bad. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? So, I, again, I just saw this five-pack on eBay. It was cheap. I decided to go and pick it up. I thought it would be interesting to take a look at. Um... All these castings, if you find them, besides the Alpha, I think the Alpha was the only one that was not released in Motor World. All these other ones um, were released in Motor World, and some of them are fairly rare. Like, uh, this is the only one that's not. But the other ones, like this Porsche, I think was only released once. This was only released, I think, maybe once or twice, probably twice. And this was at least released twice. But they're kind of tougher to get nowadays because they were in the early years of Greenlight. So, with that being said, we're going to stick with the Jag out there, right? And then let's look at our Jaguar Hot Wheels sports car set. So this should be interesting. So, everybody just say a little prayer for these castings that they've made it through the rubber bands of death. Um go ahead and open it up we're gonna just cut I think we just got to cut one side not returnable if opened 
That's probably a good strategy if these were sold at Walmart. So you get this big honking acrylic case that has appears to have yellowed over time which happens with some cheap plastics so there's what it looks like there's a state of it currently whoa I need some paperwork with it so this definitely wasn't open to your limited warranty on what um, you could be an official Hot Wheels collector this is funny. This is funny. On average, how much do you spend a year on die-cast cars? On average, how much do you spend per car? I want you all got all you answer those questions in the comments below. What scale do you collect? Well, 164. That should be obvious, right? For most of us. What happens? You'll be on file. You get to be on file if you fill this out. You can register your cars, register your two year warranty. Does that count from time of opening? Because then mine starts right now. So here's the case. Back to this. It looks almost orange. I don't know if that's just from the back, but. And no, this thing is yellowed and pretty nasty. Now it's a good thing we're setting these cars free. That case really isn't even salvageable to use as like a diorama piece or anything like that. Um, this whole setup though is kind of interesting on these uh, sets. How you get like that. Join the official Hot Wheels Collectors Club. Be registered. You can read that if you want to. Let's check out these jags. Okay, so they are all screwed to the base. And then their rubber bands were over their opening parts. All right, let's see how easy these screws will come out. Okay, this is gonna be a challenge. We are going to have to stop the video. And this is the thing about how it was 100%. You almost need power tools to get these things off the base sometimes. So hold tight. All right, so I got them off the base without actually. Uh, so I got them off the base with actually really not too much trouble at all, to be honest. Um, and let's take a look at them. So all the rubber bands have pretty much been disintegrated. There is some stuck to this one, which is the one I'm nervous about here. So we'll try to, I guess, try to get that one off first. As you can see, these rubber bands just turn to like goo. It's not good. I'm going to be able to get that off of there. Uh, this one I am not holding out much hope for, guys. Eesh, shoot. It gets completely gummed. Yeah, so if you guys have Hot Wheels 100% cars in your collection, uh, open them up sooner than later. Because these rubber bands are not good. Alright, I'm going to try to clean it off off video. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to be successful. I mean, it is sticky as sticky can be. But here's this one. What is this? An XKR. You get uh, some exhaust that you can see there, which is pretty cool. Not too bad for the wheels. Uh, it's got an opening hood feature with a detailed engine. Part of the rubber band is underneath there. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to try to fight with that off camera to see if I can get more of the rubber band out and see if I can take care of this. But it looks like we're probably going to have a little bit of paint hazing at minimum. There may be a little bit of damage here as well. Hopefully it doesn't take the paint right off when I try to uh, get this, uh, whatever this is, off of here. Rubber band residue. And we'll check it out. 
uh, the casting rolls. It is metal on metal. But it appears. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it is plastic underneath here. Mm, no, that's metal. Alright, kind of interesting. Uh, next is this one. Little E type jig. This one rolls, not as well, but it rolls. Opening hood feature. Rotten rubber band underneath the hood right there. That we'll have to take care of again off camera. Um, ooh, there's more pieces of it right there. Uh, this one, not as gooey. The rubber band is not as gooey. So that's good. This one will clean up quite nice, I think. And I think it'll be all right. This one I think is going to be a survivor, for sure. Uh, so, not bad, not bad, not bad. And here's another jig. <clears throat> of course, these are all jigs. Another one with some rotten rubber bandage. And I don't think this one's going to do too well. Yep. Yeah. There's going to be some paint damage on this one, for sure. Again, I will try to, like, buff it out. But uh, what jig is this? The XKSS. Again, with the opening hood feature. This stuff is seriously gross, guys. The feel of it is disgusting. Um, but yeah, pretty cool casting. They're actually not that great. I mean, for the Hot Wheels 100%, I think this one actually is going to be my favorite. That guy right there. Just because I don't know if I've ever seen this one done in 164 scale before. And this one looks pretty darn cool. So these have painted details. They're not lens details. They're painted. Um, they're brand new toolings. That I think were basically only used for this set. And I think that might have been it. I don't know how limited they were. I have no idea. But they're not that great. This one's alright. Um, I don't know. The looks of these castings, they're just not that great. Uh, for an E-type jig, like I think the profile and everything of this one looks better. It's got plastic tires, but you know it doesn't have the opening hood or anything. But overall, I think it looks better. Like I mean, look at those silver just circles on there for the headlights. I mean, this one has like a tampoed headlight as well, but at least it has some sort of like depth to it, to the design. Whereas that just has a silver circle so not really that great but I think it's interesting enough so I'm kind of glad I did pick it up and again I got it cheap I got this thing really cheap so which is fair because it's got gooey rubber bands all over it but rubber tires on these metal bodies metal bases kind of a neat little set but not that neat and uh yeah, I don't know if I'd have, I don't know if I'd really advise going after it. Maybe for this car. This car's the coolest one. That one's pretty cool. All right, and that's gonna be it for this video, guys. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, definitely, I don't know. The highlight for me, um, besides getting that Stealth Ultra Edge, which is pretty cool, which I only showed in the first half of the video. Uh, this Pagani. And I'm hesitant almost to like set it down here where all this gooey rubber band stuff is but this Pagani is just kind of a gorgeous little thing so I'm really happy to get that alright that's going to be it for the episode guys thank you guys again for watching ever so much uh, you guys have a great holiday I think the next uh, weekly video will be after Christmas so if you celebrate that have a Merry Christmas and um, you know if not happy holidays to you hopefully you're having a good time and that's going to be it bring on 2021 we're almost there alright you guys have a good day